Hey guys, what's going on? I'm at the K-Man QD again, Paleo Primal Island, by the K-Man.com. Today's question is, should you be an ethical omnivore? I'm the K-Man! And the answer is... Yeah. Definitely. Now, I've talked ad nauseum about the nature of eating grass-fed, pasture-raised animals. Eating pasture-raised poultry and pork eating wild caught fish. Now, there is very much a health component to this. However, the other end of the argument is the sustainability and the health of the earth. So not only will you be improving your health, you will actually help to contribute to making sure the world continues to function properly. Now, this video came about because people would ask me to cover documentaries like What the Health and Cowspiracy and all of those things. And now, we've talked about that before, no. Farts from cows do not contribute to climate change, at least not in an appreciable manner. And I've tackled the health aspects of a paleo versus vegan diet for on a number of occasions as well. The biggest problem is that the vegan propaganda market is super saturated and very well funded. What they do is start with an idea that industrial agriculture is a bad thing. And I completely agree. Then they go and say that it's also bad because of the health implications. And so they try and use the initial starting point that literally everybody can agree on, and then they build off of that into don't do meat, don't do poultry, don't eat animals at all, because it's inhumane, and it's gonna kill you. But like we said, it's not gonna kill you. And I'll put a link in the description to the playlist that's relevant to that. But what do they ground it on then? Think about the animals. Be an ethical person because they come at it from a moral high ground, and that actually sells very well. Unfortunately, on the ancestral end, the paleo, the primal, the Western A price, the Whole30, everything else that's encompassed within that, while we do promote that, more often than not, we're looking at what's gonna get me sexy abs. But the fact of the matter is, you can do both at the same time. You can focus on both you and on the environment and just all those lovely animals. Because at the end of the day, if we want to get rid of our current system, the industrial agricultural system, from the plants all the way up to the animals and make sure that all those animals actually have a proper life and you get to be healthy too, it's not gonna come from that plant-based model. It's going to come from things like what Joel Salatin's doing at Polyface Farms or what Alan Savory's doing with holistic management. You need to have those animal inputs to not use synthetic fertilizer. That was the way it was done for thousands of years because that is the best method. We thought we could make it better with synthetics and we've seen that's not the case. The widespread use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and antibiotics, yes, totally a problem. We agree with you on that. So let's start placing a priority on that aspect in order to actually come to a common ground with the vegans. Ugh. Sorry. Funny enough, Joel Salatin, who I mentioned before, has said that if you let me grow the food that I want for my family to eat, I'll make sure to grow the food that your family wants to eat. Can't we come to that agreement? No? Worth a shot. So your biggest takeaways are that, yeah, you absolutely should be an ethical omnivore. That means locally sourced ideally, organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed ruminants, pasture-raised poultry and pork, wild-caught fish, actually focus on where the food is coming from. Care about that, please, because we vote with our dollars, okay? We've seen widespread growth on that industry. Seven years ago, I got involved with this in the first place. The only place you could find grass-fed meat was Trader Joe's. Now everybody carries it. So we're making changes. We're getting through the changes we need to get through. So just keep going with that. And that way, you actually get to pull the moral high ground argument out from underneath the vegans. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but again, like I said, maybe we can work together. But if you want an actual takedown of that What's the Health documentary, I'll put a link in the description as well for Rob Wolf's article on it. Because that right there took away the necessity of me having to do a video on it. Honestly, I read that and was like, I will not be able to sit through this documentary and not want to kill myself. And as long as it is, it would have ended up being like a five hour video. So just save yourself some time, read Rob's article, and uh, check out the rest of the vegan videos in that playlist I'll put up here as well. So either way though guys, hope this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Met the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Island and of course over at MetTheCaveman.com. 
That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Go eat some meat, ethically, and I'll see you tomorrow. And the answer is, yeah, possible, but probably not. Both